Through ongoing research and experimentation, scientists are improving livestock by combining genes from different species to improve digestion and disease resistance. Do we make a lot of genetically modified foods? In 2008, the United States led the world in genetically modified crops with 62.5 million hectares. That's over 150 million football fields. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports that 86% of the land used for cotton growing was planted with genetically modified varieties, along with 80% of corn and 92% of soybeans. Worldwide, over 2 billion acres are dedicated to biotech crops, a direct result of the impact science has had on agriculture. There are over 13 million farmers in over 25 countries planting biotech crops. And let's not forget the chemical footprint we leave on the environment. Through improving crop traits with biotechnology, we have reduced insecticide application by over 360,000 metric tons, while reducing greenhouse gas emissions with reduced fuel usage. There is another technique called gene silencing used by scientists to limit the activity of specific genes. They use gene fragments that match a mirror image of a different fragment, which then blocks RNA messenger molecules from transporting genetic information to sites where new proteins are created. This method, also called RNA interference, was first outlined in roundworms. Who makes sure these foods are safe for us to eat? There are three government agencies that regulate the food industry and genetically engineered food products. They are the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, or the USDA, and the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. The FDA goes to great lengths to determine which foods are safe for humans and animals to consume. The USDA works with farmers to promote agricultural trade and production, ensures plants are safe to grow and consume, and works to protect our natural resources. The EPA governs the pesticides that are introduced to plants and makes sure that they will not harm humans, animals, or the environment. 